now amino acids amino acids are classified classified into five main classes on the basis of polarity of r group on the basis of polarity of r group so amino acids are classified into five main classes on the basis of polarity of r group so r group is very important in case of amino acids because amino acids are differ from each other on the basis of the character characteristics of the r group that is you can say polarity of the r groups now first we discuss that is non polar aliphatic r group non polar aliphatic r group ali fatic r groups so which types of amino acids are belongs to non polar aliphatic r group like alanine alanine valine leucine isoleucine isoleucine glycine the simplest amino acid glycine methionine methionine and proline so these are some amino acids that are belongs to non polar aliphatic r groups now are belongs to are belongs to belongs to non polar aliphatic r group non polar aliphatic aliphatic r group so this is the first point now next that alanine valine leucine isoleucine stabilizes protein structure by hydrophobic interaction so alanine so alanine valine leucine and isoleucine present inside the proteins and it's these types of amino acids stabilizes protein structures by means of hydrophobic interaction so hydrophobic interaction is a very important interaction in stabilization of proteins and that are contributed by these types of amino acid that are belongs to non polar aliphatic r group so alanine alanine valine leucine isoleucine isoleucine stabilizes stabilize protein structure protein 
structure stabilizes protein structure by hydrophobic interaction by hydrophobic interaction hydrophobic interaction on the other hand glycine has small side chain and it does not contribute to the hydrophobic interaction glycine also belongs to nonpolar aliphatic r groups and glycine glycine has small side chain small side chain and it does not contribute to hydrophobic interaction and it does not contribute does not contribute to hydrophobic hydrophobic interaction interaction although glycine belongs to nonpolar aliphatic r groups but but glycine uh, glycine does not contribute to hydrophobic interaction next very important sulfur containing amino acid that is methionine that is methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid and it does not contribute to and it does not contribute does not contribute to hydrophobic interaction hydrophobic oh, sorry 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 it does not contribute to hydrophobic interaction is not part of methionine methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid and it has non-polar thioether groups. Actually, glycine does not contribute to hydrophobic interaction. Sorry for that. Now, another is it has it has non-polar thioether group. Thioether group. Another sulfur containing amino acid is cysteine. We discuss later videos or in the later R group. So methionine is a sulfur containing amino acid and it has non-polar thioether group that is why it belongs to non-polar aliphatics R group. Now next most important whose structure is most important that is proline. The proline has a cyclic structure actually rigid conformation and due to this rigid conformation the polypeptide chain does not show any flexibility because this rigid structure reduces the flexibility of the polypeptide chain that contain proline amino acids so amino group amino group of proline remain in its rigid structure rigid 
structure. So amino group of proline remain remains in its rigid structure. And this rigid structure, this rigid structure, this rigid structure this rigid structure reduces reduces structural flexibility structural flexibility flexi ability structural flexibility of poly peptide chain poly peptide chain containing proline containing proline so amino group of proline remain in its rigid structure and this rigid structure reduces the structural flexibility of the polypeptide chain containing proline amino acid. 